Introducing to the stage, Mr. Bruce Turkel. Don't let the train pass you by. Don't miss this opportunity. The world is changing in ways we never thought possible, and we can all jump on it. We can all change it. First of all, here's a tip. Everyone's familiar with the internet, right? It's going to catch on. I know you're laughing, but I'm serious. This is going to be big. And figure out ways to use it to drive customers to your core product. Because they are going to be watching, tweeting, emailing, Facebooking. And who knows? Facebook may die tomorrow. Twitter may die in a week, but something else is going to come along. Don't miss the train. Jump on it. And the way to do it is to challenge yourself to try something new. You can't tell the difference between the cars, but, but the car companies need you to tell the difference. Or, like destinations, why would you buy one instead of the other? So what do they do? On the front grill, between the headlights, they put a logo. And interestingly, they all use circles. Opal uses a lightning bolt. Their logo looks like that. Mercedes-Benz, we all know it, they use the peace sign. Their logo looks like that. But I told you I have an art degree, so I look at these from an art point of view. If you look at them geometrically, Opal divided their circle in halves. Mercedes-Benz divided their circle into thirds. BMW, the ultimate driving machine, they divided their circle into quarters. Volkswagen, well, they simply took the Mercedes-Benz logo and they flipped it over. And then they removed the vertical and they added a W. And then the designers from Audi came along. They didn't know what the heck to do. They said, the hell with it. They just took the other guy's circles. <laughs> Even the logos are exactly the same. But the cars are very different, aren't they? Back in the day as your client, I always counted on you for making things big. I need a presenter who can really get the crowd cheering, on their feet, clapping, wanting more. Okay, if that was the case, I guess I should have called a rock star. But aren't you kind of like the rock star in the advertising world, right? Sometimes I get real mad. Mr. Bruce Turkel, featured on Fox, CNN, and Fast Company, speaker at MIT, Ted and Harvard, a regular branding hero. Let's bring in PR guru Bruce Turkel. He is CEO of Turkel Brand Management. Joining me now. And let's face it, this is a branding issue, and the brand that got damaged here is the PR firms. Heads are going to roll over there. Bruce, we love it. Come back again. Great perspective, Bruce I'd Turkel, love to. a smart PR guy. You use it when you see something that you don't understand. You use it when you see something that you don't expect. You use it when you see something that doesn't make sense. You look at something and you say, WTF. You look at those numbers and you say, WTF. You look at the economy and you say, WTF. Here's what it stands for. W-T-F. Where's the future? Because each time you see one of these things that you don't understand, what we need to understand is that's an opportunity. That's a challenge. That's the world telling us things are changing and we need to change right along with them. So the first point of building your brand, it's only three words, all about them. All about them. Nike didn't talk about the company. Nike talked about us. Nike talked about what mattered to us. My challenge to you is when you go back to your office, look at your marketing materials. If your marketing materials talk about your company, talk about how many trucks you have, how many computers you have, how many events you put on, something's wrong. Your marketing materials should talk about your customer how much better you make their lives, how much better you make their events, how much better you make their business. Three words, all about them. I have one little rule. I know all y'all have um, cell phones. So before we start, please take your cell phones out and turn them on. 
I want you tweeting and Facebooking <laughs> and LinkedIn-ing. My uh, Twitter handle is my name, at Bruce Turkel. But more importantly, when you brand your meetings, when you put on your events, everyone sitting at your tables is doing it as well. And so starting by asking people to turn them off is rather unrealistic these days. And there's a lot of changes that we need to understand as we look to brand our businesses, and that's one of them. Hearts, then minds. Hearts, then minds. It is critical, it is crucial, it is vital. I don't know other words to use, but it's all of those also to make an emotional connection with your consumer before you make an intellectual connection. And I see everybody in the audience going, oh yeah, 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 that makes sense, that makes sense. But none of us do it. We talk about how many cubic feet of garbage we moved. We talk about how many slips at the marina at Black Point we have. We talk about how many meals we provide. We talk about how many kids we save. Do you remember when you were kids and they collected money for UNICEF? You used to go around Halloween trick-or-treating and you know, you get it. Did you ever read the side of the box? One nickel could provide milk for a village of 2,000. Do you remember that? <laughs> and never, not one of us ever said, uh, excuse me. You know, at farm stores, it's a buck and a half. I don't understand this. Because the numbers don't matter. You hear about numbers, you hear about the damage. You know, you hear about the damage, like I talked about, the damage we had in Andrew was astounding. Then the damage they have in, in Mississippi is even more astounding. Does it matter? You can't compare pain. It's the difference between a, a disaster and a tragedy, right? A tragedy is when something happens to you, a disaster is when it happens to me. <laughs> the numbers don't matter. What matters is the emotional response.